Good morning, afternoon, or evening as the case may be in your part of the world. Uh, this video goes out to Son of Culture, whose father, or grandfather, uh, had a heart attack. And he left a video asking for prayers and best wishes. And uh, you certainly have those. Um, it's difficult, I know. When my mother had her stroke, first they didn't know if she would live. Then they didn't know how coherent she would be. And eventually they found that out. Mom's 89 years old now. And, uh, and doing quite well. Uh, the, the human body and the brain is an amazing thing. In that when one part of the brain isn't able to do the job that it used to do, another part of the brain will take over and do that. And when, when, when immediately after a stroke, there's about a year period of time that is kind of a window of opportunity where the brain is redirecting things and learning how to do things. And what I can tell you is that over the next year, um, from the point that your grandfather is now, things will progressively get better and in a, in a rapid way. He will learn to do things that in different ways than he used to before. It's important to remember that although he may have had a stroke, that he is not mentally handicapped. He may have difficulty talking. He may have some numbness or be unable to use some of his extremities. But that doesn't mean that he is mentally incapable of understanding things around him. Now he's an older person, so obviously just his age is going to have some effect. And there are some things that he won't be able to do anymore. But I encourage you to work with him and to help him learn new ways to do the things that he used to do in new ways. And know that he can still have a very viable and vibrant life, even though he has had a stroke. Some people end up coming out of a stroke with no visual uh, damage done. Some do not. But support him and help him to learn new things. The same as you would a child that is learning how to walk. Because that is what he's doing. He will be learning how to walk again. Learning how to open a bottle or how different parts of his body now works. And the more you feed his learning process, the better off he will be and the better his quality of life will be. It's a difficult thing when these kinds of things happen. I know. And they are dire but just be supportive of him. Do what you can to help him move on from here. And be proud of yourself for being the grandson who did that for him. I wish you and your grandfather the best of luck. And I know that if you keep these thoughts in mind, things will be better than they could be. So from me to you, my best wishes. I'm not a person who prays, but I will keep you in my thoughts. Until next time, this is Zen Archer, wishing you and your grandfather be well.